Welcome to another episode of I Wonder, Doctor. I want to initiate a way of exploring being overweight that relates to the emotions in the mind. I say initiate because with every diagnosis, including overweight or obesity, there are emotions in the mind related to this. And I want to communicate a story that I heard from a mentor of mine that touched me deeply. And, you know, it's the hardest part of having any kind of diagnosis, whatever it is, is how we feel about ourselves, how we try and reject that part or judge that part, or we're going to work so hard to eliminate that part. And my own experience with myself and the ways that I must deal with this is that this never works. But let me tell you about this doctor's story. I initially heard this story in a room of about a thousand doctors. He was at a training seminar and he was talking about metabolism, insulin resistance, and he said, I have a story all of my own as it relates to this. He said, early on in my life, at a very young age, I was majorly overweight, by over a hundred pounds all the time. And from early on as a young man, I started taking on the approaching it through nutrition, which I was becoming an expert at as a physician, and exercise, and insulin, and insulin resistance, and everything that we all know relates to being overweight. And sure enough, I'd go on some plan, and I'd lose weight, and I'd get real excited, and I couldn't hold it, and it would come back. In the world of dieting, it's called yo-yo dieting. <laughs> the weight goes up, the weight goes down, the weight goes up. And he said it was a very frustrating to me. And after a couple decades of this, applying everything I knew and had, including a lot of commitment, I was standing in front of a mirror looking at myself full on and feeling more discouraged than I ever had in my whole life. I felt like a failure. And as I started opening up to what was, I was really feeling, not what I was trying to present to myself and others, uh, my heart just sank. I got into the magnitude of discouragement, of sadness, of fear, of shame. Shame is the feeling there's something wrong with us. If people could really see into us, they'd see that bad thing in us, the deep fault that is unhealable. And he said, I stood in front of that mirror and I just was, time was suspended for me. I was in the deepest hole I'd ever been in, which was no more than me continuing to tell the truth to myself about what I really felt about all of it and how hopeless I felt, how bad I felt. And he said, I had, and this is the doctor lecturing to over a thousand doctors in the audience, including me, he said, and I had an, a genuine transformative experience. I said to myself, looking at myself in the mirror, looking at my whole body, I'm going to continue trying. I will not give up, but I'm changing my life. I am going to accept this body, this person that I am right now, as he was saying in front of, that I see in this mirror. And he kept looking and seeing and feeling and he, his vow was, I'm going to accept what I see. And I'm gonna stop doing this thing that I'm gonna be okay when I lose the weight. And since I haven't lost the weight, I'm not okay. But when I do lose the weight, then I'm going to be the, the person. Right now, I'm in, in, invalid. Now, this is true on so many levels. I, in my own way, have had to face very similar things. You know about them very well, being <laughs> my son. But this was so touching to me because, number one, this is one of those times that can be dramatic as it was for this doctor, or come on gradually. And, like many alcoholics have faced this, where it comes on gradually. 
and they finally get the momentum, but still it's a molecule by molecule choice. So it doesn't feel like they've had one big, huge aha experience. It feels like something they fought every molecule for. This doctor had a transformative experience. He says, no matter what happens, if I lose the weight, if I fail to lose the weight, if I gain weight, the thing I'm going to do, which I've never done, is accept the physical body that I'm in. And he said, and I did, over and over and over and over again. And a couple years later, he had lost over 100 pounds. That was the turning point. Self-acceptance of the being that we are. We're going to have more to say about this. We want to elaborate on this whole subject because it's relevant to every single diagnosis and actual personal healing and growth. But although I personally haven't dealt with the weight issues, certainly not to the extent that so many do, I find this across the board in every single illness and all the challenges that I've personally had to deal with in my life. So, accept thyself.